Conspiracy theories about weather modification. Man-made climate change paved the way for American scientists to come up with the idea of weather modification. They reasoned that if daily human activity was already impacting weather patterns, it was acceptable for them to deliberately change the weather for a variety of purposes. The first meeting about weather modification was held at the end of 1945. At this time, the possibility of using several weather manipulation schemes to America's advantage during war was discussed. Later, during the Cold War, funds were poured into further research on the topic. This opened the door for using the weather as a secret weapon against enemies. Unfortunately, it also created the opportunity for several people and institutions to use this technology for more sinister purposes. Naturally, this topic is taboo within government organizations, but this hasn't stopped the theories and even evidence of different climate engineering events from popping up all over the internet. Many believe that Hurricane Sandy was a product of man-made climate change. Then there are those who believe that the storm itself was man-made. The storm was not even over yet when conspiracy theories started flying around. It is said that President Barack Obama engineered the superstorm that slammed into the eastern seaboard just a week before elections were due to take place to ensure his re-election. Proponents of the theory conclude that Obama needed a situation in which he could be the hero, helping those in need and ultimately proving he was the best candidate for president. Conspiracy or not, Hurricane Sandy certainly seemed to help Obama's presidential bid. He even won over Republican Governor Chris Christie, who commented that he kept every promise he made when the hurricane struck. Christie declared at a press conference that although he disagreed with the president on principles and policy, he had no regrets working with him, a statement for which the governor received considerable backlash. It fueled rumors of an engineered storm, as it seemed that Obama was out to get even the opposition into his corner. How would a human even be able to engineer a hurricane? If you believe the theories, it would be possible with the help of the High Frequency Active Auroral Research Program, a government research arm that studies the upper atmosphere. It is believed that HARP was instrumental in creating Sandy with electromagnetic waves and its SBX platform. Conspiracy theorists are also convinced that Hurricane Katrina was created and steered by HARP under the order of George W. Bush and Dick Cheney. Naturally, HARP denies any involvement.